Hello, welcome to the first Voxel Sprite keyframing tutorial. The new version of Voxel 1.65 allows you to script sprite animations in addition to the uh, camera animations introduced in version 1.6. So here we have a model, and I'll just uh, show you what we're aiming for here. We have a camera flyby that's been scripted, but if you look, you also see a little sprite character that's uh, jumping around there. And that's what we're going to figure out how to make in this tutorial. So to start off, I'm going to load a file that doesn't have that sprite. All it has is the camera flyby. Here we have our little man that's been constructed. And what we want to do is learn how to animate him. So the first thing you do is uh, Notice over here in the keyframing tools, you've got a camera icon, and that indicates that all these keyframes and this timeline have to do with the camera. If you tap that button, you'll see two other buttons, a little running man with a plus sign and a grayed out running man with a minus sign. These are the uh, sprite add and delete tools. So what we're going to do is hit the plus sign, and we get a new sprite track and you'll see this camera icon's been replaced with the running man. If I tap that, you'll see a little blank spot here in the, this bar, which we call the switcher. So what we want to do is add some sprite keyframes to this track. And to do that, we go back to uh, the arrow tool, and we just select a portion of the model. So here I'm going to select this, uh, this man here. Okay and let me make sure I don't have the grass selected. Okay, now uh, we've got that selected, and we're going to go back to the movie tool and just hit this plus button, and it's just like the camera keyframes when you, uh, instead of having a view that you're saving, you have a selection that you're saving. So we hit the plus button and a little keyframe appears, and that means that this little section of the model has been saved in that keyframe. Okay, so now what we want to do is uh, we're going to go back to the arrow tool and we're going to move the selection. So we tap move and we drag the box forward. Let's, let's go forward two pixels. Okay, then we go back to our camera, hit the plus, there we have a second keyframe. Let's go back to the arrow tool, move again, movie tool, plus, and you can see how it's just sort of a repeating process to uh, animate this guy. You don't even have to hit OK, which is, would actually move the uh, real voxels on, on the base model. You just have to uh, have the selection. Okay, so now let's uh, turn this guy. We go back to uh, the arrow. We'll hit OK, and now these voxels have uh, been placed here on the real model. We hit the rotation tool, and then drag and now this guy turns. Now, um, one thing you'll see is a, uh, you see like these pixels here, that's like a ghost image of uh, the keyframe that we just did before. Whenever you're not in the movie tool, keyframes appear, sprite keyframes appear sort of half translucent, so we won't worry about that right now. We've got our rotated model, we're going to go back to the movie tool and add this keyframe, and now you see that ghost disappeared. Okay, now let's uh, go back to arrow, move this, oh, we're still in rotate, I don't want to be in rotate. Go to move, move him over, back to the movie tool, add a keyframe, back to the arrow tool, move it again, back to the movie tool, plus. Okay, so now we have a bunch of keyframes. Let's see what it looks like. If you hit the play button, you'll see it's running through all the sequ sequences of the sprites that we saved. I can back up. Now, I know we had camera keyframes scripted before. Why isn't it playing those? Well, the camera keyframes only play if you are in the camera mode on the, on the switcher here. So if I go back to the camera mode and play, it'll play through our camera keyframes and it also plays the sprite. Um, now, why is this guy sitting here not moving? That's because the uh, voxels that we were using to make our sprite are still part of the original base. 
So what we want to do is go back here and uh, select this guy and cut that out of the original mono. Oops, I don't want to cut the cut the ground. Move that up. Okay, so we're going to cut that out, and then now if we go back to the movie tool, we should just see our man marching around. And hold on, I don't let me deselect that so we don't see. Okay, so that's a simple example of how to move a sprite. In the next tutorial, we'll look at actually how we'll look at just actually changing the model itself, so making little arms and legs move. Be seeing you.